Namaste, yogis and yoginis. Welcome once again to Yoga with Vic from this beautiful lake of Ochrid in North Macedonia. Peaceful morning. Well, someone was passing by, they were shouting a bit, but hopefully we have a peaceful morning right now. And talking about morning, we're going to do a little bit of a morning ritual. What would I do if I only had a few minutes? I didn't have to think. I didn't have anything to follow. Just keep a couple of things in mind and let's follow that. So first of all, we're going to tap into our breath. That's the most important thing when we do yoga. Just remember land and feel that your little mat is your little island. So put your hand in your heart, another hand in your belly, it doesn't matter which one. Close your eyes. Connect with your breath. Find it. Where is it? What is happening with your breath right now? Is it choppy? Is it calm? Make sure the exhales get longer. You get deep into your lungs, into your belly. You can count mentally four and then four and then four and five. Five and five and then five and six. And try to extend the exhale one more. Once our system is come down and we feel we're there, we've landed, you know, we are in our space, in our sacred space, this is just us and our time, then we're going to go top of the mat facing the beautiful sun, in my case, or whatever you're facing, and then we're going to start with have sa some half sun salutations. So remember, half sun salutations is just going up. Extending and to start with, you can just arch a tiny little bit, but you can start engaging the glutes and then we fold towards the legs. And as the first one, I would say, bend the legs, let's hang the head, let's leave everything hanging. You can also have you know, and grab your elbows. And especially feel the spine getting elongated. You're finding more space between the vertebrae. The head is super, super heavy. And the thighs are starting to wake up. If you've got them bent, you will feel also the quads. If you straighten them, you'll feel more the hamstrings and the back of the thighs. So slowly we're going to start stretching the back of the thighs. But to start with, just find a position that is comfortable for you. From here we're going to go to flat back, so the hands on the floor, on shins or even on thighs. If that works for you, elongate the spine. Try to reach with the top of your head as far as you can. And we drop again. And then we come back with a big inhale. You can put the hands together or not. And then they definitely come together in front of your heart. That would be one. Let's flow them. Inhale. Arch the back a little bit. Exhale. Go down. Inhale. Flat back. Extend the spine. Look ahead if you want. Exhale. Go down. Inhale. Float up to the sky. Exhale. Hands to the front of the mat. Oh, <laughs> the front of the chest. Inhale. Come up. Let's try to back bend a little bit more. Exhale. Down to the floor, inhale, extend the spine, exhale, fold, inhale, come up, exhale, to the heart. And now we're going to do the full sun salutation A, so inhale, come up to the sky, let's try to arch a little bit more, just engage the glutes, remember that, exhale, try to straighten the legs a little bit, inhale, Extend the spine, exhale, hands to the floor, step, step to the back. Super strong plank. Let's stay here for a second. Hands are very open and very engaged. And we're going to go towards the front. We're going to tilt just before we go down in Chaturanga with very, very, very strong arms. And remember, if you have issues with your hands, with your arms, just use the legs. 
otherwise come to plank, go down. From here we tuck the toes, we do a cobra, we start with a small cobra, go down again, tuck the toes, we lift the hips, go up to the sky as high as you can and behind towards the back and let's pedal the feet is our toughest down dog of the day. So let's pedal. Remember super strong fingers like you're really protecting something that's underneath your hand. Push yourself to the back. Ears far from the shoulders. So don't crunch in here. And then from here we just bend the knees slightly and step, step to the front. Inhale, flat back, exhale. Full, let it all hang. Inhale, come up. Exhale to the front. That was the one rehearsal. Let's do another two. Inhale deeply. Come up to the sky. Exhale. Let's go towards the ground. Inhale. Flat back. Exhale. Step a step or jump. Exhale. Go down towards the floor. Inhale and tuck the toes to your favorite back bend. If you're ready for down dog, for up dog, just do it. And then let's go to down dog. Bend the knees slightly, step to the front, inhale, extend the back, exhale, fold, inhale, come up towards the sky, exhale, hands to the chest, last one, inhale, let's arch a little bit more, exhale, go down, inhale, extend the spine, exhale, you can jump or just go down slowly. Inhale, back bend, let's do it a bit higher. Exhale, tuck the toes. Ah, we have someone saying hello. Bend the knees, go to the front. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, fold. Inhale, come up to the sky. Exhale, hands to the front. Let's go to sun salutation B. So we're going to start in chair pose and then we'll just continue. So inhale. You can also put the toes together if that's your thing. I like more to separate them kind of hip width apart. But that's also coming to your routine and to what you're used to it. So inhale. Hips come back in a chair pose. Exhale. Fall down. Inhale. Extend the spine. Exhale. Chaturanga Dandasana, let's go to the floor, inhale, upward dog, a cobra, exhale, we go to downward dog, inhale, lift the right leg, exhale, between the hands, back foot flat, we come to warrior one, exhale, let's go again through vinyasa, strong arms, shaving the ribs, inhale, upward dog, a cobra, exhale, downward dog, Inhale, left leg comes to the front, back foot goes flat. Inhale, come up, exhale, hands to the floor. Again, we do this beautiful chaturanga with the strong arms. Upper dog or cobra. Exhale, tuck the toes, lift the hips up to the sky. Bend the knees, come back to the front. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, go down. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, hands to the front. Let's do another two. Shall we flow them? <laughs> Some people are very happy to see each other this morning. Inhale, chair pose. Exhale, come down. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, jump or step to the back. Inhale, upper dog or cobra. Deep in your back bend. Every time you do a new one. Exhale, down dog. Inhale. Come up with your right leg to the front. Come up to warrior one. Exhale, we go again through vinyasa. Upward dog or cobra. Downward dog, tucking the toes, lifting the hips to the sky. Left leg comes up to the front, back foot flat. Warrior one, big inhale, strong front leg. Exhale, we go to the floor. Upward dog or cobra. Downward dog. And the last one. Let's go. Towards the front. Inhale, extend the spine. Exhale, fold it all. Inhale, come up on a beautiful chair. 
exhale hands to the heart last one inhale chair pose exhale go down inhale straighten the spine exhale jump to the back if you can exhale inhale back bend exhale tuck the toes lift the hips inhale Last right leg comes up exhale to the front inhale come up in a beautiful warrior one exhale hands to the floor and we go down inhale to your favorite back bend exhale hips go up to the sky downward dog inhale left leg exhale hands our foot to the front inhale come up exhale go down through vinyasa and upper dog or cobra tuck the toes lift the hips and we're gonna stop here for a second these guys really talk very loud from here we're gonna do a series of three you might be familiar if you've seen any of my flows before in the chairs ah that's why they're making so much noise okay so we're going to do pretty much what we do in uh, in the previous uh flow but we're going to skip the uh, they're going to prep to the front of the mat so basically lift the right leg come us to the front warrior one we go down vinyasa upward dog or cobra downward dog left leg comes up to the front come up to warrior one let's go down strong super strong arms go till down come up in cobra or upper dog and then we continue if we do another two inhale right leg exhale between the hands come up to the sky let's go through our vinyasa strong biceps triceps everything shoulders come up exhale hips up inhale left leg exhale inhale warrior one exhale let's go down oh come on just one more to go ah, hips to the sky right leg comes up to the front salute go down and down and up cobra Hips up, left leg, that was the last one, to the front. Say hello. And last vinyasa, upward dog or cobra, and downward dog. Oh, so we did our cardio bit, our strength bit. Give yourself a little bit of a rest. And then from here, lift the right leg, don't worry, no more vinyasas. Go to the front, come up in warrior one. Let's go to warrior two. And let's go to horse stance. So, ah, horse stance, we're gonna do a bit of standing work for the side abdominals, for the obliques. Ah, hands behind the hand. The hand, hands behind the head. Let's go right. And then let's go for a little circle. Come up. Ah, second one. And ah, third one. And we go left. A big circle around the world. Second one. And number three. We are number three today, the lucky number. From here, we're gonna stand the leg. <laughs> they just make me laugh. They're really, really. Okay, let's gonna do a triangle. So, heel to heel, heel to arch, more or less. That's how it's gonna work. Shorten the stance about a meter or so. And then from here, extend the arms, super strong. Sass the hips to the back. Try to reach as far as you can. And then from here, go down. And beautiful triangle just open your chest okay. Okay. 
and then we come up to the center we're gonna go to the other side so change the foot left foot points to the other side oh, I don't have the fast side in my face anymore extend your arms as much as possible stress the hips go with the hip to the back try to reach as far as possible go down and bring the right hand up and do that beautiful triangle open your chest imagine you've got a back behind uh, back up, up wall behind you so you're just leaning your back against it and then from here we come to the center we hilt to the feet with them together ish because we're going to do a beautiful tree so from here we're going to bring the right foot to the inner sole the inner sole to either the inner thigh the calf or even the ankle whatever works for you Ooh, hold on a second we're going to do some balance so we come here and find a focal point where you can focus and then slowly start really strengthening your body remember pushing the heel against the leg the leg against the heel against the sole engaging your glutes engaging your core obviously and then we come to the center lower the left lower the, the right bring the left up either to the inner sole the inner sole to the inner thigh oh and oh look hold on a second let's find a focal point i'm looking at the guy putting the chairs and i'm getting distracted <laughs> at least the friends have gone <laughs> So we don't have big conversations. <laughs> Very friendly here. Okay, again, you can put your hands in front of your chest. You can bring your branches up, whatever works for you. Engage the glutes. The more you engage the glutes in the core, obviously, your tree is going to be very stable. And then from here, let's go down to the floor. Let's do a few breaths of joy just to get the energy going. Instead of three, we're gonna do nine, so three times three. And remember, the, the breath of joy is gonna be in, 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 and out through the mouth. And if you don't feel good just going all the way down, just go halfway, yeah? Or if you get dizzy, if it doesn't go with you, or you've got high pressure, just do it slowly. So let's go, let's do nine. count but I think I did nine if I did eight is okay if I did ten it's also okay close your eyes you probably get a little bit dizzy just see how you feel after going through all these different routines we've done a bit of everything And now you can either get started or just you know, reward yourself with a little shavasana and a little twist. So I'm going to reward myself just bringing the leg to the chest. Right hand goes to the right. Push the leg to the left. Ah, it's always a treat. to the center bring the left leg the left hand goes towards the left and you look left and the leg goes to the other side oh that was beautiful i had to clock 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 so i think for two press just got really happy okay come to the center give yourself a big hug oh love yourself Take a lot of hair inside your lungs and oh, let it all go, let it all go. Extend your legs, palms up to the sky. 
leg long, tuck the chin slightly, just relax the whole body to get us started beautifully into your day with all this energy that these people around us have. <laughs> We're in the morning, you know, with all that strength and energy. It's so beautiful to wake up in the morning with that energy. And especially if you see friends, you get excited. If they're good friends, that is. <laughs> Just make sure you relax the whole body. Everything is heavy. Stay there as long as you wish. And whenever you feel you're ready for the day, you can start wiggling your toes, your fingers. You can stretch your body, give yourself a long, oh, how beautiful. Oh, a sigh or whatever works. And then from here, either choose the favorite side that you have or roll yourself slowly to the top of the mat, to the middle of the mat, to wherever you are. Cross your legs, hands in front of the chest, bow the chin slightly, and just be grateful for this morning's for seeing the sun coming out, for waking up, which is already a luxury, for having a night's sleep, a roof above our heads, and waking up just to the sound of water, to the sound of your neighbors shouting, <laughs> whatever it is for waking up to the world, to your own world, which is this beautiful mat, this island where you just landed this morning and carved a few minutes for you. Oh, you open your eyes slightly, give yourself a big smile, give yourself a hug, and thanks again for being with me today. Always an honor and a pleasure. See you very shortly.